Hi, everybody. We're going to show you how to upload a file and publish it and find out where it's stored on the web server. So you should be logged into mccweb.net cPanel. Logged in, you'll see you, I'm in the high level account where I, re, I can change and see everybody's account, so, which is great because if you need help, I'll be able to help you. But here is where my website is going to appear. I'm going to open that in a new tab. You can see currently I just have the files we created in here. I want to upload to the Web 105 file. And to do that, I'm going to upload a zip file. I'm actually just uploading the sample file we had for our um, GitHub assignment because it doesn't matter what I'm uploading. I just want to show you how to do it. So you need to go to the file manager. And most of the work that we do in cPanel will be through the file manager. Into the public HTML, then into the web. Hmm. Typos. Good thing to learn to change. Um, I'm going to rename web 105 and make sure if you see anything, you shouldn't have any spaces here. It should all be lowercase hyphens allowed uh, or no, nothing, just web 105 like that. That's the way it should be named. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to upload that sample site. So I can select my file or I can just drag it here. And I brought this demo site in that I downloaded from a previous assignment. And then I can go back to my public HTML. Zip file is here. I can extract it. And I can then refresh this. And you'll see that it's here. And so I have the demo site here. Everything's here. I don't need to keep that zip file. And now I want to test it. So I'm going to go to the CP. There, click on my file here, go into Web 105, and then I have my demo site. And you can see that it's here. And that would be the link that you hand in. And this is probably the easiest way to upload. I prefer using FTP because then I can upload without ever leaving my Visual Studio code environment. But this, I don't have to install anything. And it works from anywhere. And it's really easy. And people don't tend to have problems with it, whereas Pro Deployer, which I really love, can be a little bit of a pain to set up. So however you get things uploaded to the web server, these are the two ways I recommend. My preference is the FTP, but whatever works for you.